Well, welcome to the Celebs.com studio at Sundance, sponsored by Movie Maker Magazine. Ari Greiner, Jamie Travis, Lauren Ann Miller, congratulations. You must be very excited. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the day of, right? I mean, what is that? I mean, tell me for you, like, what does that feel like? Oh my God, for me, well, I was just saying how, like, honestly, I'm like, keep hopping in my mental time machine to like a year ago when this movie was nothing but like pages, like words on a page that like Katie and I had typed up and then like, and then we found Jamie, and then we found Ari, and like, or wait, no, we found Ari first, first, then Jamie. Came first. And like, this whole thing really has truly been like this incredible, like, whirlwind of like collaboration and creativity, and just like, and then it just happened, and we have this movie that like we all just love and are so excited to show everyone. Has it been a little while since you've seen each other as well? <laughs> Not us, but. We saw each other a few weeks yeah, ago, so. and I saw you. She's been off in New York on Broadway, yeah. so we haven't seen her. I've been. Yeah, they were working on the movie project. in LA, so it was so hard during the cutting process. They were like in the editing room every day, and I was like, "What's happening? <laughs> I can't be there." But they would send every cut, so at least they yeah. could sort of be aware of what was going on, which is good. So, what was your first meeting like with Lauren about this project? Well, Lauren and Katie wrote me the letter of all letters. It's like the dream <laughs> letter that you want to get that makes you laugh and cry, and never have felt so good about myself my whole life, and. Um, saying that they wanted me to do the movie and I had read the script like a year before that but before it was it, when it was even less real and I just loved it so much and then I wrote them the most the amazing <laughs> unreal letter you've always dreamed of getting yeah. that like I like seriously like cried and ran around the house so. I, I did too yeah. over the years. and then and then the first time we all met was actually at a table read of um, of another movie oh, yeah. and and we all it was just sort of like an instant love fest and then we started working on it sort of right after that but that was almost a year ago we were realizing yeah. today and why Jamie I mean obviously as a film person I know like all the short films but why Jamie for this oh well you know when we had the script we like sent it out obviously to a lot of places and had a bunch of like movies and shorts and reels sent to us and Jamie's obviously his shorts just like just rose to the top immediately. Like we could see that there was something really awesome there that we needed to have on our project. And then we spoke on the phone with him, just Katie and I, and we were like, okay, this guy's great, and he'll come down. And then Ari met him. Well, and it was literally, it's one of those things where people say you can you can tell what somebody can do in 30 seconds. That's really, in a way, all you need. And literally within 30 seconds of watching Status Boy in the World, I was emailing <laughs> everyone being like, we, there's no way we can do this without him. And I think for this movie, it's so, fun and feel good and great but also it, it could have gone in in somebody else's you know less uh, beautiful handiwork it could be sort of broad <laughs> or it could be <laughs> unspecific or but Jamie knew that his visual sense and his sense of character that he could make it something that would be really unique take a story that was already unique and make it that much better and Jamie what about for you I mean it's material that you didn't create yourself yeah was that a, a different experience for it you it is everything that I've done other than commercials I also direct commercials I've written myself so but this this was exactly the type of group I wanted to work with, and I, as it turns out, I love working with other people's material, especially when it's <laughs> as smart as this was. I my agent had been sending me scripts for years, and I never ever put myself forward for anything because I don't know how to direct something unless I truly love the script. And so this was the first script in four years. I'm sure I've told you this. Yes. You uh, have. That I put myself forward on, and uh, yeah, I'm one for one. I met with the girls on Skype, and we immediately <laughs> on Skype. we did. Oh my well, God, I was, we, oh. well, he was in. He was still in Toronto for like the first like I mean three or four months after yeah. he was hired yeah. that we worked on it. So like everything was over Skype. We skyped like. Every day. Yeah. Like, I kind of feel like you're cheating on Tiff here a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> Being at Sundance. Yeah, like, well, yeah. I've been here before. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so also tell me, like, you know, it's, it's also kind of like a family project for you. I mean, your brother helped you on the film. Your husband, Seth Rogen, obviously has a small part in the film yeah. as well. Does that make it like this warmer, richer kind oh of Oh, my God, totally. It's been so cool to have them all involved. And my brother, I mean... I mean, we, he like came on like like this and learned everything he possibly could. He's so smart, and he like honestly like if he hadn't come on and gotten us the money to make it, like it's, he's like saved it. And then of course having Seth around to just give us the guidance to be like he's done this so many times, and he would you know pop in and out, and so it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Does it is it do you have like this kind of group of people that you show your work to? It's like kind of this private little crew that um, gives you feedback. Oh, like, I wouldn't say it's a private little crew. I mean, we have, I mean, we have such an amazing group in LA of like writers and just creative like, you know, actors and directors. And so, um, so just along the way, we would do screenings and invite like groups of people to come and watch it and give notes. And cause that's, I mean, to make a comedy, you really need to 
make sure that the jokes are working and have people see them. So Outside of people that you know have to laugh yeah, for you. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Or you see it so many times, you can sort of yeah. decide of what the jokes are. Yeah. And, you know. Have you seen the film with an audience yet? I have not seen it with an audience. I wasn't in L.A. for the screenings because I was doing a play, and I had a few friends see a few different cuts in New York to get sort of theatery people's notes over there. <laughs> but I, I'm... I, it's all I can think about is sitting in Eccles tonight with all those people watching it. I'm, I get so overwhelmed and emotional every time I think about Very it. Very few people have seen this movie. Like I mean, in, in our test screenings, maybe it's like 80? 10 or 20. Yeah, we never oh, did. We, oh, didn't, we have not shown it. To, like, oh, yeah, but 30, at a time, 40. it was never more than like 10 or 12 people. Right. So it was like, add it up, people saw it, but like, we've never seen it with more than like. 12 people. So, so, so only a theater of about 1,200. Yeah. yeah. 1,270. So, 1,270, the official yeah. count. And how many of those are family members and friends and stuff 1100. like that? 1,100. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope they laugh. Um, how easy or hard is it for you to sit in a room like that and experience the feedback? Are you are you so conscious of like watching the audience or can you relax a little bit? And, we don't know yet. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I feel like because I didn't write this film, it's going to be easier for me to watch <laughs> it no for, no no but just there's a, yeah. it's been such a more collaborative experience I feel like we've seen it with lots of people we've gotten I just feel like it's in a good place oh, and yeah. whereas with my short films they're usually very personal and very uh, embarrassing for me and and unearth truth that I shouldn't be telling anyone and this one is more like my love of these girls and and you know women every, this is just like <laughs> I just love women it's for women so it's just, it's, <laughs> Speaking of women everywhere, I kind of feel like Ari that you might be like kind of like the homecoming queen of this festival. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so nice. <laughs> How does it feel like being like such a such a part of the festival this year and having it's, multiple projects? It's uh, unbelievable. This is my fourth time here, and every time I've been here, it's been such a different experience. And when I think about my first time here seven or eight years ago, I flew myself out for the movie. I didn't know anyone in the business. I didn't know anyone here. I got horrible altitude sickness and was throwing up the whole time. And then, you know, every year got better, but I still could feel sort of less than or insecure, or not a part of it, you know, and to be here now with these two movies that I love so much and with so many friends around, it's, it is, talk about a mental time machine. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. Um, every time, like, I, I read the premise of the film, uh, part of me also flashed back to Jennifer Jason Lee in Shortcuts, having those conversations on the phone. Um, did you guys, like, I don't know your personal experience in relation to sex phone operators, but how much of it did you have to listen to and experience it all? Well, um, we've actually never seen Shortcuts. I purposely, we did not want to watch that because didn't want to be. I have seen but Shortcuts. You have, but, yes. but Katie, the, my other, the other writer. I, the I'm, I'm. She calls me Movie Me. Yeah. I'm, I'm Movie Katie. So, so real Katie actually did phone sex in college um, before she and I lived together, and so we really drew on that experience to sort of get us to our starting off point as sort of our inspiration. And then, and then of course, you know, as you're shooting stuff and just as you're writing stuff, different ideas come in and you sort of create these like colorful colors and what they actually say. Well, from all the, all the buzz from the people that have seen it who can't stop talking about it, it sounds like you're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Thanks so much for Thank stopping you. by. Thank you. Thank you.